This video is about computing the Fourier transform of periodic signals. A signal is periodic with period T if when you shift that signal by capital T seconds you get back the original signal which is what this says mathematically. The reason this is a question is because you don't get very far if you try plugging a, a periodic signal into the standard definition for the continuous time Fourier transform. One of the things we know about periodic signals is that we can expand them in a Fourier series which in the case of the exponential Fourier series looks like this. Where the coefficients in the series are calculated using a formula like this. It turns out that if we start with the Fourier series formula, it turns out to be very easy to calculate the Fourier transform. What we'll do is we'll start with this formula, and we will just simply take the Fourier transform of both sides. So the Fourier transform of x of t is x of f. The Fourier transform is linear, so the transform of a sum is the sum of the transforms. Also, the coefficients come through. And then we're going to use the discrete time Fourier transform pair, which I'll write down here, 2 pi f naught t, a complex exponential, has a Fourier transform that is a delta function. Now we can see that uh, we have a complex exponential here in the Fourier series expansion and its frequency is k over t. So this complex exponential turns into delta f of k f minus k over t. And we're done. The only thing that's left to do is to calculate the Fourier series coefficients x sub k. Let's look at an example. Let's suppose we have a periodic signal which is a train of Dirac delta functions repeating every capital T seconds. This signal looks like this. To calculate the um, Fourier series, which I'll write down here. All we have to do is calculate the coefficients x sub k, which I'll just do over here on the side, just writing down the definition, the formula for calculating these coefficients. So what we have to do is integrate this function, x of t, between minus t over 2 and plus t over 2. We can see that over that interval, the function uh, consists of a single Dirac delta function. So if we substitute that in, we see that this whole integral is just equal to 1. And so the Fourier series coefficients are all equal to just 1 over t. So our Fourier series expansion of this periodic signal can be written as follows. 1 over t times this infinite sum e to the j 2 pi kt over big t. 
Now it's time to compute the Fourier transform of this periodic signal. So we'll say x of f is equal to 1 over t times this infinite sum delta f minus k over t. So what we've done is we've derived a Fourier, a Fourier transform pair that relates a train of delta functions in the time domain to a train of delta functions in the frequency domain. I'll write the Fourier transform pair explicitly down below. Notice that the spacing between the delta functions in the time domain is t, whereas the spacing between delta functions in the frequency domain is 1 over t.